All right, everyone. So I've been doing a little bit of work here at the shop and just want to show everybody kind of where I'm at so far. And there's a lot of cleaning up, a lot of detail work, but we have filled up the shelves. I had my helper come over and spend two hours. She left, I'm about out of breath. So I got my mom's wall set up and I'm just gonna go shelf by shelf. So we got a couple shoes, a couple things on here. Bunch of little individual teacups, $3 a piece. Uh, a couple lighthouses. Got miscellaneous individual pieces, some pictures, things like that. And these are the cool ones. These are uh, Danbury Mint Native American dolls. She looked them up online. They're going for like 20, 30 bucks a piece. She's doing 50 bucks for the whole set. So if somebody wants to buy them and individually sell them, there's plenty of money to be made. Uh, got some honeymooners, a really wicked chrome lion, which I don't think that's gonna last long. And then we got this guy here, which for some reason, this guy reminds me of that uh, uh, We Will Never Surrender guy from Great Britain. I can't remember the guy's name. I watched the movie about him. But that's who it reminds me of. So we got some cool little plushy owls, some uh, really interesting looking uh, candles, little laundry sign. And then we got uh, this kind of like the little miscellaneous book section. We got some little things here, pretty cool stuff. Got a whole thing of uh, old music. And then we got some soaps, a, um, a Estee Lauder bag. Uh, some really cool little iron pieces here. Oh, sorry, I have my hand in the way. Uh, got some things here on the bottom. Some Star Wars pictures. A little parrot. I think that's a parrot. Eh, I'm going to call it a parrot. Uh, audio books. We even got a penthouse. Yeah. Um, this is a uh, cobbler stand for making shoes or repairing shoes. That's old school. Plus it, has, it comes with a couple little baby feet. You know. Oh, and... Uh, an inkwell. This is like old, old school. This is probably turn of the century here. It's pretty heavy too. And then uh, got some artistic pieces of glass. So and then we got getting into my stuff. We got a couple of horns. We got them acrylic panels from the 60s. Uh, some random glass. A little bit of alcohol glass. Uh, this is just hodgepodge miscellaneous stuff. It's probably not going to last too long as before it gets uh, thrown. Uh, got some bikinis down there, a couple of shoes. This is some areas that I need to tidy up. Got a bunch of little crocheted purses, uh, a little pile of hats, and then this is my little holiday section. Here's a whole tote of random, like, uh, they're Halloween decoration, but they're almost like stage quality. I do 10 bucks on the whole tote, you know. And then anybody who wants ho uh, the holiday stuff, more than happy to get rid of all that one shot. Uh, added a couple more speaker boxes. Um, got some more Rocco Fosgate speakers, some DS18s. Uh, you know, like this here. This was uh, 500. I marked it to four. Now it's three. Uh, this right here, I spent 500 on this box. I got it for 200. I got the two 15s in the box for 75 bucks for both of them. This speaker here is a little roached out, so I'm doing $30 basically for the box. And then. Uh, 15 inch uh, box for 35 these here are brand new uh, they were 225 a piece I'm selling them for 100 a piece and then everybody's always asking do you have any records well guess what BAM I got records they're hiding behind my table but I got a whole mess load of records now and then I got a couple over here uh, this is Gene Autry I got some kids classics here uh, even got a Red Fox somewhere uh, some DVDs, CDs, and things to play them with. These I do like five bucks a piece. Um, I sell them as is. And then working on a little, this is, I just gotta come over here and organize the heck out of this, but uh, I told her just get as much stuff on the shelf as you can, and I, I think she did a good job. She did exactly what I asked her. I asked her to get stuff on the shelf. It's on the shelf, and I got someone blowing up my phone. Ah. Uh, I will call them back. In fact, I might know who that is. That'll be weird if I do. I got someone named Hayden calling me, and I know a girl from Hayden back in the day. Anyways, uh, here's some. This is a really wicked looking uh, 
Dy Dynamax uh, clamp. I got this here. This is a uh, uh, 724 Proto 24 inch. These things sell for like 100 bucks. I got 50 on it. So if someone says, ah, will you take a little bit less? Guess what I'll probably do? I'll probably take a little bit of less. Uh, and this is their little radiator thing I had last time. This is an old tap and die set. I had 50 on it. No, I had 75. <sighs> if you if you mention this video, I'll, I'll do 40 bucks on it. So, and this is a little press, an OTC 724931 service kit. So I got 75 on that. Because that sells for a lot more. Uh, let's see, found some old Trans Am, not Trans Am, Camaro taillights. Uh, and a bunch of books. We got cookbooks. We got history books. This is all the presidents. This is all the wars. They caused this. Yeah, I said it. We got some uh, children and educational and then into, you know, nonfiction. Yeah. No, fiction. Excuse me. And then this is my little, since Jacksonville turned 200 years old, I did a little Jacksonville section. So we got the street guide. We got the um, uh, uh, Jacksonville Celebrates America, 1776 to 1976. We got some little um what do you call it cookbooks so and then i got a little mac truck repair set i'm doing ten dollars on the whole thing uh these here i'm doing five bucks a piece a bunch of old uh manuals these i'm doing three a piece the little shilton and haynes books and then i got a whole bunch of uh these are all boat repair books you know what i, I if somebody want i do one price on all this stuff uh, then we're getting back into more miscellaneous. I got some umbrella hooks for fishing. It don't really do good here in Florida, but up north they use them like crazy. Uh, this is all just kind of hodgepodge I got to clean up. Then we got some propellers. Yeah, we got a bunch of propellers. I'm doing 50 bucks a piece or 300 for all of them. I think there's like 17 or 18. So, and I got a couple of stainless steels in here. So, you know, stainless steel, they go for two, three hundred dollars for one. I think there's two of them in here. And then I got some filters to clean up your act. <laughs> yeah, I did a joke. Uh, more car parts, some door parts, uh, tires, some trailer parts. Then we got some kitty toys. Found a couple of Legos. So I got the Lego Creator. I got the Christmas Kale on the book. And then where's the other one? Oh, there it is. And I got the Architecture Series. I gotta price them, um, but they're gonna be eh, fairly cheap. And got some uh, brand new Monopoly games. We got a German uh, doing 20, the uh, WR Berkeley Corporation doing 20, uh, Dogs 10, cause I can't stand them. And then Watsonopoly doing 20. And then all the open ones, they'll, they'll be like, like, I don't know, three, five, seven bucks, somewhere around there. Probably closer to five. And then we got, uh, which this isn't done, and no, it's not on purpose, but we got America, America, and then what the fuck not America. Uh, yeah, I found them. I know there's people that really like this stuff. I don't really care for it, but hopefully someone comes in here and buys it quickly. So I understand the history behind it. I understand it's a lesson to learn not to be repeated. That's what I got to say. Um, so these are live blanks. They are, they do have gunpowder in them, but they do not have a, a projectile. These basically, all they do is, is basically firecrackers. Uh, I was told, and I'm pretty sure this is out of a 1966 Pontiac Tempest, um, police car. And then I got me a little, 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 little dinner bell, um, school bell, whatever kind of bell. It's a little brass bell. And then, uh, oh, we got some microwaves. Oh my God, if y'all need to cook something, I got you. So, and then we got Makita, uh, excuse me, Hitachi bandsaw, do a hundred bucks. Makita chop saw. I'll be honest with you, I, I wanna add five on it, cause I really don't need to sell it. Cause I can always, I mean, I get, I get paid $400 to do a cut, so. But I'm putting it for five, cause if someone buys it, then I'm just not gonna do cuts no more, period. And then I got, uh, 150 on a uh, uh, 12 inch Makita with a fairly new blade. And then we got some video games for all my video game people. Yes, PS3, uh, Xbox 360. Uh, these are all brand new. I do, uh, I don't know, I'm thinking like, like five, 10 bucks on these. Uh, these do five on it. And then I got some that are open over there. You know, a couple bucks on them. Uh, let's see what else I got here. 
again, I still have to do a lot of cleaning here, so we're just trying to get stuff put together. So I got some Kniffies. Uh, that is a break-in kit for breaking into houses used by SWAT, Marine Corps, police. Uh, got me, did a little China-made machete. Um, these I got a label, um, but this is, I can't remember the name of this, a very, very, very heavy cleaver. That is no joke. Everybody picked it up, said, oh, damn, you know, so, and then I think this is an old timer, uh, Chicago, and then these up here are just little, you know, China things, but they're still cool knives. And then I have some Pez, because everybody likes a Pez, and then I have some ink, um, uh, the little typeset, little typeset drawer, got a little Olympia uh, camera over there for 10 bucks with the bag. And then you can't really see it, but I got a little thing of jewelry back up in here. And the door, I already sold the door for 300 so that's already waiting for the guy to pick it up. Oh, a couple more things. We got a bunch of little furniture. And we got some Pyrex bowls. I think this is Pyrex. Yep. Got some Pyrex bowls, 10 bucks a piece, $5. Uh, so, and my mom's selling stuff here. That's what this wall is back over here. That's all my mom's stuff. So she has some little planes. And then I was going through my stuff, and I got some little planes. So you can either buy my mom's planes for $10 for the set, or you can buy my planes for $10 for the set. Huh. I mean, it's funny that both of us had the same identical set. So, and we got some Occupied Japan. I got 10 on it, but we'll definitely take less. So, oh, and then uh, we got some Star Wars stuff here. Um, Got a couple more down here. I, I forgot to tell you guys about it. Uh, wrought iron table. Uh, we got a, I think early 1900s. I think this is walnut. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm kind of leaning toward that way. Uh, toy box, a little kid's desk. So toolbox, 40 bucks. Some cool little, you know, flea market flip items. So, but that's what I got so far. Oh, and this uh, little stuff back up in there, some old records, things like that. So, but, yeah. And now I'm going to take a little break and spend the rest of the night. After I take a shower, I'm going to go uh, come back up here and after it cools off because it's over 100 freaking degrees out here. And I'm going to just kind of detail and get everything cleaned up. So, but that's it for now. Peace, love, money. I'm out.